In the vast realm of biology, the use of Latin might seem like a peculiar choice. Why does a scientific discipline concerned with the study of living organisms rely on a language that is no longer spoken in daily conversations? To unravel this linguistic mystery, we must embark on a journey through history and explore the reasons behind biology's enduring relationship with Latin. Our story begins in ancient Rome, where Latin emerged as the language of scholars, philosophers, and scientists. The Roman Empire's vast reach allowed Latin to spread across diverse regions, becoming a lingua franca of sorts. This widespread adoption of Latin facilitated communication among scholars and ensured the longevity of their scientific works. Latin's prominence in scientific discourse can be traced back to the pioneering work of Carl Linnaeus, an 18th century Swedish botanist and zoologist. Linnaeus sought to create a standardized system for naming and classifying living organisms known as taxonomy. To achieve this, he devised a hierarchical classification system, grouping organisms into categories based on shared characteristics. Latin, with its precise and structured grammar, provided the ideal foundation for this system. One of the main advantages of Latin is its stability. Unlike vernacular languages that evolve and change over time, Latin remained relatively constant. This linguistic stability allowed scientists from different regions and eras to communicate effectively by using a shared language. It created a common ground for researchers to share their findings and build upon the knowledge of their predecessors. Latin's precision and clarity also played a crucial role in its adoption by the scientific community. Scientific terminology demands accuracy and specificity, and Latin provides a rich vocabulary that precisely describes biological concepts. Its grammatical structure allows for clear expression and precise distinction between terms, reducing ambiguity and facilitating effective communication. Furthermore, Latin's historical significance contributes to its continued usage in biology. Latin has deep roots in the history of science, serving as the language of renowned scholars and philosophers such as Galen, Aristotle, and Pliny the Elder. This historical connection adds an element of tradition and scholarly legacy to the language, lending credibility and authority to scientific discussions. Latin's influence extends beyond nomenclature. It permeates the terminology used to describe anatomical structures, physiological processes, and biochemical reactions. By employing Latin terms, biologists can communicate complex concepts succinctly and precisely. This shared vocabulary fosters efficient knowledge transfer and promotes collaboration among scientists worldwide. Additionally, Latin allows for the creation of scientific names, known as binomial nomenclature, which form the foundation of biological classification. This system, introduced by Linnaeus, assigns each species a unique two-part name, consisting of the genus and species. These Latin-based scientific names not only provide a standardized way of identifying and categorizing organisms, but also reflect their evolutionary relationships and shared characteristics. The use of Latin in biology also transcends language barriers. While scientific discoveries and advancements may occur in different countries and languages, the Latin names of organisms remain universally recognizable. This linguistic universality enables scientists to communicate across borders and cultures, ensuring that biological knowledge can be disseminated and understood globally. Furthermore, Latin's lack of regional bias makes it an inclusive language for the international scientific community. It avoids favoring one particular linguistic tradition or culture, promoting equal participation and collaboration among scientists from diverse backgrounds. While Latin continues to be the backbone of biological nomenclature and terminology, it is important to note that the language is not exclusively used in biology. Latin's influence extends to various scientific disciplines, including medicine, pharmacology, and chemistry. Its enduring legacy demonstrates its versatility and adaptability in the ever-evolving world of science. In conclusion, the use of Latin in biology stems from its historical prominence, linguistic stability, precision, and shared vocabulary. 
It provides a common language for scientists across borders and time periods, facilitating communication, collaboration, and the transfer of knowledge. Latin's influence in biology serves as a testament to the enduring power of language and the critical role it plays in advancing scientific understanding.